guys, Steph here and welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas. Today is Monday, December 16th and uh, it's 11.19 in the morning. I'm actually at home. I, I did not go to work today. Uh, my, my fever broke, so that was good. I think it broke. I'm not really quite sure because I've been getting the chills the past few hours, but um, yeah, I talked to my supervisor and I was like, okay, I'll just take the day off. So... I'm at home. Jackson also is at home because he wasn't feeling well. And then Chris just got off work. So she's downstairs with him. And uh, so I've had a busy morning. I had to drive. I drove Tyler to uh, school today. And then I came home. I was going to go to Target to go shopping. Because we, at work, we have a, um, <coughs> we have like this holiday thing where we adopt a family. And, uh. So I am responsible for a two-year-old that we had and then some toys for a seven-year-old girl. And so I was going to go to Target, but then after like I was driving around, I was like, oh, no, I don't feel well. So I came home, and what I ended up doing was actually shopping on Target's app. And then I bought everything that I got is at the store, the local store. So I'm going to end up um, going there in a couple hours to pick everything up. So, since I'm not actually doing shopping, I'll show you guys everything that I got. So, this is actually stuff... Okay, so, technically I'm responsible for a two-year-old boy and some toys for a seven-year-old girl. But then there's another family in our <clears throat> division that we're in charge of. So, I'm helping them out and it's for a four-month-year-old girl. And so... And then there's, like, family members. So, anyways, it's kind of confusing. You guys might have seen me talk about this, but... So, for the four-month-year-old, there's, like, diapers... Um, those shoes are for the two-year-old that I'm, I got stuff for. Some toys and stuff, socks, pajamas, um, it's like random toys. Because technically, the seven-year-old girl didn't ask for any toys, but I got a few things. Like, the decorated water bottle. I figure that's kind of cool, and then everyone can use a water bottle, right? And then the boy wanted, um, like cars and trucks and stuff, so I just got some of that stuff. It's cool that I got this stuff online so I don't have to actually walk around the store and buy this, like, go pick it out. Um, but I still need to go in the store to get some, like, gift bags and some different gift wrapping things. And then I also need some bags of shredded cheese for the house because we don't have shredded cheese, and it's really sad. I usually always have shredded cheese in the house, so it's, like, odd that I don't have any. And then other than that, I think I'm just going to relax a little bit because um, I want, like, the inside of me wants to be like, oh, well, if you're not going to go to work, go do things. Like, I want to go back upstairs and organize some more, which was, I, it was actually really nice for me to do um, yesterday, and I'm hoping that a little bit later today I can do that once I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but I think for now I'm going to, I'm going to drink some water. I drank some orange juice already, and I'm going to just, like, sleep a little bit or something, like, just relax. I feel like when I need, when I'm, like, telling myself, like, the moments where I really need to relax and sleep, my body's like, no, 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 like, go do things. And then the days where I'm like, oh, you have all these things to do, I'm like, ah, I'm just going to sleep all day. So it's kind of weird. It's weird how my mind works. But, yeah, I'm just going to chill a little bit, and then and then we'll see how I feel in a little bit, like in a few hours or something. Okay, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey, guys. I have been sleepy for the past couple of hours. It was funny. I woke up. Lilo was like in the bed, like literally right here. He's he was just lying there. He just left. Um, and I like woke up and I was like cuddling with Lilo. It was really funny. Uh -huh. It's like, wait, you're not as soft as Mac. What is this? You're much bigger. And it was Lilo. Um, I need to get up because I need to go to Target. I got a notification after I ordered everything that there's a couple items that they didn't have. And so there's a couple items that I'm going to pick up from different stores and then most of the stuff they had. So I'll go get that stuff and then I still have to get gift bags and some wrapping paper. I have a couple rolls of wrapping paper here. Nothing too crazy. Um, and hopefully I can take care of all of that stuff. That way I don't have to worry about it. I just want to get it done. And then there's still a few things it sounds like that I need to get for some other people. So we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling better. I think I need to take more medicine is what I need to do. I'm going to take more medicine and then I'm going to get up and do some things. Let's do the things. Yes.
doing the things. You guys, um, I came to go buy all my stuff from Target and I met up with Amy for dinner. So we're eating sushi, surprise. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers guys. Why'd you make that face? Uh, because you, I was looking at myself and then you took it away. Oh. So I was like, oh. We came to this new place I've never been here before and I totally just went ham. I want other people here. I know, but I went ham on I could as I didn't get to research the menu before we came, so I didn't know what to do and I freaked out. It took so her a really long time to it took decide. me a long time. But I decided, so that's it. You guys I didn't film it, but there was salad and soup and it was delicious and we're both drinking tea. Amy dumped a bunch of soy sauce in it was, there. So, it came out too fast. And now it's too salty. This thing I'm not Is used it too to salty now? Yes. You see that I can't drink it? For me, it's too salty. For you, it's probably not too salty. Let's check the saltiness level. Ew. What? You ate that tofu piece. Ooh. It's delicious. It's too salty for me. I dumped a whole spoonful in there. You next time you should use a spoon. I'm sorry. I think it's delicious. Okay, guys. Look, this is sake belly. I'm so excited. Amy got a bento box. So original. I'm basic. Mm. I will say that the sweet or the pumpkin tempura was delicious. <gasps> okay, guys, it's time for the salmon belly. I'm very excited about this. I've never had salmon belly like this before. Look at that. Look how fatty it is. Can you see? Can you see the fat on this? It's not focusing, but I ate it with sriracha and soy sauce. Oh, mm. it's super buttery and super rich, but I like it a lot. Mm. This is so good. You want to try some? Mm, I would not be able to eat it. Okay, guys, we came to our Target because I had to pick up some toys that I bought online. But look at this. Let's check out there. I don't come to this Target often, so I, I don't see. They have Olaf and Squirtle. Oh, they have stuffed curry pops. Doesn't this look like Clay Thompson, though? Hey, Amy, don't you think this pop looks like Clay Thompson? Hello, Target guests. I'm author and illustrator. Uh, and yeah, a little bit. Dino Doodle like, do you think it looks like Steph and Curry? No, I think it looks more like Clay than Steph. No, I've just I've never heard of this. Have you heard of this one? Hey guys, so it's super late in the day. It's 11.46. It's almost midnight. I just got home. I went to like three different targets, but I think I have everything. I'm trying to sort it so I can figure out how I'm supposed to wrap everything. And then I'm sad because I realized that I probably didn't get enough stuff for somebody. So I'm just trying to like sort through all the things. But I thought I would do an impromptu unboxing. So I saw these at Target and I actually got one for myself because I'm going to do like a legitimate unboxing. But I wanted to open this because, let me give you some big background. So every year, I think you guys might know this, we adopt um, families at work. And so we have two families in our division this year and I was in charge of the two-year-old. So let me show you, it's a two-year-old boy. Let me show you all the cool things that I got him. They only asked for pajamas, shoes, socks, and then cars and trucks. So the first set of pajamas I got are these. They're Marvel and Spider-Man. Aren't those cool? Like, I think those are pretty cool. Pretty excited about these. Um, some socks. I got these cute little shoes. These shoes are like more casual. And then I got these shoes, which are more like kind of athletic-y, runny shoes. I got a set of these DC, I think they're Batman and, oh, just Batman pajamas. Aren't those cute though? Excuse me, Lilo. Um, they didn't ask for this, but I saw this and I just couldn't help myself. Look at this cute Star Wars sweater. It's a little crew neck sweatshirt and it's super like basic, but it's super cute. The model on Target's website was so cute in it. I was just like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. And then toy-wise, I got a set of cars. I got a carrying case and track system for the cars. <laughs> so here's the thing. I got like a bunch of stuff, but then I didn't realize how big these things were gonna be. So I got this slam and racer where apparently you hit this the car, it moves, and it can like race into this wheel thing that spins, I guess. 
And then I also got these monster trucks, which again, this box is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. But these are really cool too. And then I got this Paw Patrols thing, but I think I might hold off on that because that just seems like a bit much. Um, because basically this this boy has a sister and she asked for just clothes. So my coworker bought all the clothes and I was supposed to kind of buy some like toy-esque things. So I had a bunch of different things that I was gonna get, but I like I okay. What happened was is there's like four different things I was gonna get, like make your own squishy thing and all this stuff, but then I thought about it and was like, I wanna get stuff that's like somewhat useful and or like not a bunch of small pieces. So I got this do-it-yourself like creature on water bottle thing because I thought that was cool. Like who you always can use a water bottle. And then I got one of these um rainbow corns, and basically it's it's a mystery plushy that has the magic sequins and it comes with a bunch of other things like some stickers, pens, uh, slime, and then like, I don't know, mystery thing. And so I thought that was kind of cool. I don't really know, it's hard with seven year olds because you really don't know. And then she asked for shoes. My coworker got like athletic shoes, but she also asked for boots. So I got these, I had these other boots I was gonna get, but they were tan and they were super cute. But I thought these were a little bit more useful. And since it's winter, I thought this was kind of like warmer, I guess. So I'm wondering if I should have kept like maybe the additional like design your own squishies or something because I feel like it's not a lot. But then the other thing that I got was basically this. So they had these at Target and these are the Hatchimals backpack clips and I think kids love backpack clips. Like Maddie's nine and she still loves backpack clips backpack clips and Jackson's nine too and he likes backpack clips so um, I bought this one to open on my channel but I bought this one to open and hopefully maybe put a few of these um, with her gift so let's go to open this and see what this looks like so I think what happened was Target is having trouble because they had a whole section and sorry I didn't film it I get nervous now filming at Target but they had a whole section of like mystery Thanks, Lilo. Okay, see, Lilo, what's really good? <laughs> um, of like boxes that's just full of different mystery things that they basically couldn't sell. Like they had sets though. So like this one's all, it should be all Hatchimal eggs. Let's see. Yes, except this one's not a mystery because it's not in an egg. But then these are all mystery. So I'm thinking like, oh yeah, there's like, they literally just like, it looks like they just shoved a bunch of the eggs in there. So I'm thinking that I might add a few of these to her gift. Maybe clip these onto like some of the bags or, you know, like Sanrio, like where it'd be like the gift and then a surprise. Um, so I think that would be pretty cool. Honestly, the boy might even dig this. I don't know. I'm not sure how many backpacks the boy has though because he's only two. So anyways, okay, what else do we get? So then there's another family and they have a four month old. They asked for music toys. So I got this music toy and this music toy. And my coworker got another music toy and they asked for like spoons and bibs and things like that. And then I also got diapers. They're all in my car, diapers and wipes. There's like a ton of diapers and wipes in my car right now. And then, um, what else? For the four month old, they asked for a dove, baby dove. <laughs> Baby Dove, the dad asked for some like different things. There's like, um, like vanilla lotion, vanilla like body soap, and then just like socks, a lot of little like socks. Um, I bought a couple extra advent calendars. I don't know, it's hard with people cause like, you know, obviously I don't know what people like, but like I got the dad some Game of Thrones advent calendar socks because he asked for socks too. And then I was really sad because the mom for that family wanted um, leggings, leggings and tank tops and a bunch of other stuff, but some other people already bought stuff for her, but I bought a bunch of stuff on JCPenney's website to pick up in store, but for some reason I never got the confirmation to pick up the items today. So I'm gonna call tomorrow and hopefully they'll be ready because I need to I, they, all this stuff was due today. I'm a little bit late. So I'm gonna turn everything in tomorrow, but I also got like gift boxes. I was honestly gonna just use um, 
like my subscription boxes, which I still might, because I feel like those will be easier to wrap than these, but I also bought just a bunch of gift bags, just in case, because who knows. And then like, of course, tissue paper, so. I'm gonna take a crack at trying to wrap some of these things, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. I don't really know. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. What an odd day, I feel like. Okay, so it is 2.20. I just finished wrapping all of the gifts and labeling them and putting bows on them. Um, a lot of the gift bags have tons of gifts in them. I just wrapped them in tissue paper. I found that it was actually easier to wrap gifts in the tissue paper than it was in the wrapping paper because the wrapping paper was so thin and kept tearing. Um, this box came in. I'm pretty sure this is the rest of the books that I got for, for my friend. I feel bad because I actually took the tractor book and I wrapped it as a gift. So now I'm gonna have to count up the books and see. I might be one book short, um, but I think I have some new books up in my room that I might have to supplement with. So let's see what we got. We got The Gruffalo. This is a paperback book. Again, got good reviews, so we'll see how that one goes. Let's see, The Pout Pout Fish. This is another board book. There's a lot of board books in this. Giraffes Can't Dance. Llama Llama Jingle Bells. I got, oh, looks like I got two of these. Um, we got Elmo's Countdown to Christmas, another board book. Oh, but this one has flip up things, so that would be a little bit more interactive and fun, I would say. Look at that, that's cool. I have I Love You to the Moon and Back, and then Pete the Cat's 12 Groovy Days of Christmas. So I gotta count to see how many books that leaves me, but I think I need at least 20, so if I don't have 20, then I will um, try to add more books so that I have 20. Great news, I counted the books, we have 19, but I just got this package in. How do we open this? And in this package should be, yes! Bedtime for Baby Shark. Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark. So this is a pretty like thin book, but you guys know baby shark is so popular right now. So that officially puts me at 20 books. So we're gonna slip this and boom, there you have it. Now I did make sure I opened this one just to make sure that there was four books in here, so we'll have to open this up and then spread out those books, but there you have it, there you have it. Ooh, that's so exciting, I'm so excited. I just got so confused because I got upstairs and I was like, oh, I wanna go to bed, but I was like, oh no, I gotta do advent calendars. Then I looked at my watch and I was like, oh, it's the 17th, which means that that's an odd number and I need to do my odd day calendars, but then I was like, wait a second, I feel like I haven't done the Harry Potter ones yet, and then I realized it's because it's the next day, technically. Okay, we're gonna do advent calendars really fast because I'm super, super tired. Um, but we're gonna do number eight of our Harry Potter calendars. I'm just gonna whip this through like this. And I'm gonna reach in like this, and we're gonna pull out these socks. Muggle-born, that's to represent Hermione. All right, second calendar. Number eight, we're just gonna reach in here and we have the letters that invite Harry to join Hogwarts. Those are interesting. And then for a third one, number eight is, well, I don't know where that one goes. I'm just gonna push that there, but let's see. How do I get to this? Mischief Manage, that's in representation of the Marauder's Map. All right, um, socks today were kinda a little bit lame. All right, we have our toy advent calendars. I forgot to show you guys. Um, over there on that cat tower is, well, there's a box of Tylenol, but it's also um, the Bulbasaur tin that I didn't get from Target. They had it today. So I picked it up. Okay, here we go. Harry Potter calendar, we're doing day number 16. We have, ooh, Mad-Eye Moody. This is a cool one. This is a cool one. Okay, I like that. I like the details on his face. It's a cool little mold right there. 
All right, we have our first Marvel calendar. Who do you think we're gonna get? Who do you think we're gonna get? Hawkeye? Oh, oh gosh. No, we got, is this the Punisher? I'm gonna say it's the Punisher just based off the emblem on his like uniform thing. Is that right? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Let me know. I'm assuming this one's gonna be the same one. Not a variant. Nope. So put that back in there. These advent calendars are falling all over the place. Okay, last we have our Harry Potter advent calendar Lego. And we're doing day number 16, which is down here. Oh, and we have the chess pieces. I'll be honest, I just don't really feel up to building this right now. I love the little mini figure that they have on here, though, to represent probably the queen or the king or whatever. That's cool. I will build this tomorrow when I'm a little bit not, it's not as late because it's kind of late right now. And then last, but certainly not least, is our punchy calendar. Um, these are at Target right now for $7, so you should check the app to see if you have any in your local Target, but I went to a different Target today and they had a bunch, so I picked one up um, for next year. But yeah, I'm going to have to repaper this. Anyways, we're doing number 16. Now I've been punching it, but I'm going to try the finger the finger punch method because I I'm interested. I'm I'm assuming this should work better, but ready? Okay, wait. Hold on. It's not pressed up very well. Let's do it like this. Okay, ready? 1 2 3. Yes, that works so much better. Okay. What do we have? Okay, we have a pack of Steam Siege. So we'll go ahead and open these up and see what we got. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan lately of not looking at the code card. <gasps> but when we do look at it and it's white, it makes me so excited. So, first of all, here's the code card for those of you who play Pokemon TCG Online for Steam Siege. There you go, there you go, there you go. Steam Siege is an old pack, so we're going to do three cards. And let's see what we got. We got a Tangrowth, a Gardevoir Spirit Link. A Lampent, a Yanma, a Marl. Is it Marl or Meryl? Sneasel, Litleo, Nidoran. Our reversey is an Ambipom. This is from the Apom uh, evolution. And then our rare card is. Oh, we got a Hollow Rare of Infernape. It's hard, the, the hollow is not as uh, present on this card, you see it right there. Um, not as not as bright and shiny as some of the other cards, but it's better than nothing, so I'll take it. All right guys, that's gonna conclude day 16 of Vlogmas. I feel like this vlog is gonna be super, super long. I'm not really quite sure, but I will do my best to try to edit it tomorrow morning before I go to work so that I can post it. If it's late, I apologize in advance because I think it might be late. Um, I hope you guys had a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.